Well, the resistance we got is exactly the resistance you would imagine. Yes. It is a predominantly black female and dark skinned black male, black female driven narrative. Mm -hmm. It just is. And we know traditionally Hollywood has not ha had that. They do not believe that we can lead a global box office without a white male savior or even a white mm -hmm. female savior, which is nowhere in the film. Um, so everything became a fight. The hair became a, a fight. The hair? The, wow. You know, what we look like became a fight. Everything was a fight. But you know what? Sometimes you find your voice. It's like um, the Toni Morrison quote that when you free yourself, then um, your job is to go out and free others. Mm -hmm. Is that you fight because what I realize once again, I'm going to use another quote, you know, like sorry, because like that's is, um, you know, when they uh, the famous quote of if, if you want to know me, don't ask me how I do my hair or where I live. Ask me what I live for mm -hmm. mm. or better yet, ask me what's getting in the way of what I live for. And I have to some extent, if I were to be brutally honest, always felt invisible. As a woman, as a dark-skinned black woman, the labels, what you have to fight. I remember hearing a, a man years ago, he was a white man, who said, I don't think any black women are attractive except for Diana Ross and Donna Summer. Mm. And he felt very comfortable saying that. And I've always felt like I'm waiting to be introduced to the world as Viola. Mm. I want people to see my, my beauty. I want people to see my mess i want people to see my humanity and and so that was the fight with this film yeah you know because black women in this film are seen mm -hmm. in all of their glory um but you know what this is one time it was worth the fight yeah mm -hmm. yeah was it a deal yes. breaker for you yeah yeah absolutely it was a deal breaker i mean you know at some point you have to understand that, listen, I think that I have achieved great success in my career. And I have to be honest, I, I thought it would feel different. Mm. I thought I wow. would be absolutely fulfilled. Instead, I felt exhausted. You know, you're still fighting for, you know, I, I'm good, but you're still fighting for pay. You're still fighting for those scripts that really are gonna show your talent. You're still fighting. And you're still sort of feeling like disillusioned with everything until you realize success is not the cap. Mm. It's significance. That's the last cap. Oh. You got to live a life bigger than yourself. At some point, you got to be brave enough to sort of flip the na switch the narrative. And this film you got to be brave yeah. because the script itself is brave that you you've got you've got to meet the film where it's at mm. and so you got to risk discomfort and that's what i risk for the sheilas the lashanas the tusos the sias the shiomas the jamies the adrians all of the black women who are featured in this film i i have to fight for them